Hey everyone, it's Amy. Welcome back. Today I wanted to do another binder related video. I know, I feel like I do a lot of these, um, but I decided that I wanted to condense my twice collection. Now that does not mean that I'm downsizing. I'm actually not getting rid of any of my twice cards, but I just wasn't happy with the way I had my twice collection set up. So let me talk a little bit about that first. This is my twice binder and it is very full. I used to have it actually split up into two separate binders. Now the reason I needed two binders was because the bulk of those binders contain a whole lot of filler pages. You know, I had it set up in such a way to show like how I wanted to collect and there were just so many empty spots. They were all filler pages and I kind of came to a point where I decided I don't think I really want to like backtrack to get a whole bunch of their older cards and I was collecting for three members as well so you know I got a bit overwhelmed and I mean I guess that's really no surprise <laughs> but I think moving forward I only want to collect two members and I want to just make my binders look a little bit nicer and not have a whole bunch of fillers in there kind of bogging everything down. So over the weekend, I ended up condensing both binders into one. I removed all the fillers. And as you can see here, I just have this binder and I don't have any fillers in, in here anymore. It's mainly just a lot of pre-order benefit cards. So if you're not familiar with the way Twice's photo cards work, generally JYP will include a pack of freebies. Here's an example from Formula of Love. They come with like a whole pack of 10 cards. It'll be one card per member and then a group card. And they've been doing this pretty much since they debuted. And yes, like that whole pack of cards comes along with the random album cards as well. So you get a ton of cards when you get an album. So I had a lot of fun collecting those. I love these cards, honestly. I don't know if that's um, an unpopular opinion, but this binder is pretty much all of those type of cards. <laughs> and when I was looking at it, I'm like, wow, I didn't get very far in collecting the actual album cards. As you can see here, I condensed a whole bunch of different albums together onto one page, but the thing is, I wasn't happy with that. I looked back on this and I'm like, you know, this binder is just mostly pobs. <laughs> it's mostly the pre-order benefit cards. And then with a little bit of regular album cards sprinkled in here and there. So like here's a die on page with like two random Sana cards. And even though when I first started collecting, I wanted to try to complete all of them, but I just don't think I'm going to end up doing that. Moving forward, I really just want to collect just Sana and Diane's album cards. So I figure today I am going to condense this down even further. I'm not getting rid of any of the cards, but um, I'm going to take out just the album cards and move it into a separate binder. And then I'll leave just the pre-order benefit cards like these alone. Essentially, this uh, binder will just become the pre-order benefit binder, I guess. It's just some way, you know, to still showcase the cards. And I don't know, I just still really love them. They make me happy. But what was not making me happy was the fact that I just had these other random album cards and I just did not like the way that they were displayed in here. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so that brings me to here. <laughs> I have this old planner. So this might look familiar. I don't know if you saw my video. Um, gosh, I think, I think I posted it about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, where I, it was actually one of my very first like tutorials <laughs> where you set up an A5 mini binder. But in that video, I kind of went into a bit more detail on how to take a nine pocket page and trim it down to where you can fit it into a mini binder. So we're not quite doing that today. However, I did take one of those binders from that video and I wanted to utilize it here for my new Twice collection. Now I say new, it's not new. <laughs> it's still the same cards that were in the big binder, but um, 
as I collect further, like Formula of Love cards, for instance, will eventually go in here. So yes, this is a planner. It is by the brand called Kiki K. It's really popular in like the planner community, although um, it is based in Australia, so it is, I think, a little bit harder to maybe get, you know, if you are international or in the U.S. Um, I actually bought this secondhand probably like six or seven years ago. It's really old, but um, essentially it is a six ring. Technically it is A5, even though it is a little wide. Um, it's really reminiscent of the macaron uh, binders that you're seeing right now. Um, they're all over TikTok, they're super cute. Um, and I think the biggest difference between this and the macarons ones that you've been seeing is that magnetic clasp that closes it. So obviously I don't have that here on this binder. Um, I've already removed the contents that came with this binder. Um, it just has your typical tabs and like a ruler and stuff and I already removed all the pages because they're super outdated but yeah I figure um we'll go ahead and utilize this and I already have some supplies ready to go um these are Amifa pockets I had to get them off of Mercari Japan I think I use Neokyo or Bai to uh, get these so people have asked me how do I get them I have to use a proxy service, like I said, either Neokyo or Bai, and um, you just type in the words Amifa, it's A-M-I-F-A, and these are acid-free and PVC-free. Um, back when I was making my binder supplies video, I incorrectly stated that these pockets and the Beyond D pockets are not acid-free. Back then, there was a bit of confusion when I was researching those pockets. And at one point, I know that the website that I used to buy the Beyond D pockets, uh, it never said that they were safe. And then they updated their website later to say that they're safe. So that's good. That's good that they updated it. But also, in super teeny tiny fine print right here, you need like a magnifying glass to see this. It says PP. <laughs> And that stands for, I think, polypropylene, which is a safe material for your photo cards. Of course, I always double sleeve, which means I still put my photo cards into a safe uh, sleeve. So this is by Dragon Shield. And also a really good thing about Amifa pockets is that they do fit standard size Dragon Shield sleeves. They're PVC free, they're acid free, so always good to still protect your cards anyways. So yes, we will be adding another mini binder into my collection. <laughs> another thing too that you may have seen around TikTok a lot are um, these type of binders right here. They're these zipper binders. And um, I actually have one already where I keep all my stickers in um, for like journaling and like trades and stuff. I keep them all in here. And I was contemplating if I want to use the spare one for my photo cards. I don't know, maybe some other time I'll use this, but I think I really want to use this planner instead. These might look familiar if you saw my desk tour video. Um, I got these off of AliExpress and they're really inexpensive. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this whole process. I am so long-winded. I am so sorry. If you come to this channel and expect to dive right into everything, I'm so sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I talk way too much. But one more thing I wanted to mention is that, you know, you can definitely find alternatives to this type of binder on Amazon, on Etsy, on AliExpress. So. Just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so like I said, we got to condense even further. We will be taking out just the album photo cards. And I'm just gonna kind of like still keep some of the other members too. I know that I have some that are of like Nayon and I have some, you know, of like Mina. And I'm like, I'm just gonna put them all into my new little mini binder. Um, I think it'll still look cute and I should have enough pockets for it so yeah okay let me have these
Okay. So every album card has been removed. Like, can you believe these are all of those pre-order cards? They have so many. It's enough to fill an entire binder. I think this is a one and a half inch binder, but still, I mean, this is a lot and I still haven't even put in the formula of love cards yet. And there's four sets of those. So yeah, like 40 cards still need to go in here, but that is for another day. <laughs> We're gonna move on now to the actual planner, the planner that we're converting into the photo card binder. Okay, so I decided to remove this little coaster because I was thinking about maybe putting it in the very front, like something like right here. I know a lot of people, uh, especially on TikTok that I've seen, uh, they like to decorate the front area right here too, which was really cute, really cute idea, but I don't know like <laughs> if I'll go to like the full blown extent of doing that, but we'll see. We'll save this for last. Um, but yes, I know I keep mentioning TikTok a lot because I finally created one for my K-pop account. If you want to follow me there as well, I still don't quite exactly know how to use it. <laughs> I'm learning. I feel so old. <laughs> because I'm trying to like learn this new technology but um it's a lot of fun I have a really good time scrolling through everything and anyways yeah um my at is Lil Tammy as well so can we open this there we go so another big reason I decided to just go with one of these uh planner binders I'm sorry I'm using those terms interchangeably is that the rings are bigger than uh the zip up binder that I showed you so yeah, like these rings are actually much smaller than these. So that was kind of why I decided to lean towards this one a little bit more because as you saw, I did pull out quite a lot of cards for twice. So yes, I'm gonna use two packs of these. And what's really great about these Amifa pockets is that they are front to back. So that's how I'm going to load all the photo cards as well. So one pack only comes with 10 sheets, but like I said, they do load front and back. So you're really able to maximize more space. And if I can actually align the holes correctly, we'll get this in there. There we go. And this is, well, this pack's already been used for some of my other binders. So I'm not sure if I have exactly 10 Maybe I do, I have no idea, but it should be enough. If not, I do have more on hand. But okay, let's just start loading things up. Actually, I can't just quite start loading things up yet. I need to sort my photo cards because I at least wanna put them in order of album release, um, not necessarily in order of like each member. So yeah, let's do that first. that I counted the pages correctly. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I did the math right, but we'll see what happens when we get to the end. Okay, I think I have everything in their correct piles. <laughs> it took a little while, but I am ready and I'm just gonna start out with Twice Coaster Lane 1 and 2 because I actually only have four cards, so it actually kind of worked out okay. Um, I'm going to put these two hollow ones up here. Man, I really do love these pockets. They are smooth. <laughs> Some of the Beyond D ones are like really um, sticky. Well, not sticky, but there's like a lot of traction when you're trying to put the card in there. So yeah, there's a really loud airplane going by, buzzing the house. Yep, I see it. I can see the bottom of the plane. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there is our first page. And like I said, I am going to, um, I'm gonna be double, doubling the pages up here. So we've got signal. I'll put you up here. And then the pretty hollow cards. Okay, not bad. Now we are in Twistagram. Oh, and we have exactly four cards for this. This is actually working out quite nicely. 
<laughs> I'm actually quite happy about that. See, that's like the beauty, I think, with having a smaller binder. It's, um, you don't feel quite as much pressure to have to like fill out a nine pocket page. And I know that like a lot of people um, feel compelled to want to fill out a nine pocket page. Like I'm one of those people for sure. So when you condense it down to four, I don't know, it just feels a lot nicer. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, and then I have three cards here for Mary and Happy. So I will put these two white border ones here. And put Sana. And now I'm just gonna keep going. Um, we're gonna go into what is love now. So I might break these up a little bit by member because each member had their own colors on their cards for this era, which was really nice. Alrighty, I'm going to just start out with Mina and Jiho, like that, and we'll just sort of keep going. These were the scratch cards, and I did buy these secondhand, so they were already scratched prior. And then I'll put Sana's cards up here, like that, and then I'll do Chewie's set. <laughs> what is love is gonna look like and I'm actually quite happy about it um, I ended up deciding to just skip this slot right here starting it on a new page and it all worked out okay I'm just gonna keep going now we're gonna do summer nights yes or yes which we don't have very many cards here <laughs> so it's a little unfortunate but that's all right okay and then moving on into fancy I have actually I think I have Sana's complete set for fancy okay I will start out with Diane I only have three cards for her and then I'll go into Sana set. Okay, and then we have Feel Special. And then we have more and more. Okay, and then I'm going to do eyes wide open. taste of love for formula of love that won't be in today's video because I want to save it for a future uh, binder sorting video
Okay, we've reached the end and obviously I have a few spare pages for Formula of Love, but oh my gosh, look at how thick it is. <laughs> But I really like it and there's actually like quite a bit more room to grow so I'm really happy about that. So here's what it looks like from the top and the side. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I will actually use the strap uh, to keep it closed but um, I'm actually quite happy with this. I think that, you know, if you want to keep your collections kind of more condensed, maybe you don't collect every single, you know, card for a certain group, you know, these are just such a great solution. I've had several previous um, A5 binder sorting videos and setup videos if you want to check them out, but I really enjoyed how this turned out. So I do have a couple of things that I kind of want to put as like a finishing touch, I guess. I've seen a lot of people put stickers and stuff on there too, which is cute, but I don't know if this is going to look stupid if I put like a little cover sheet here, and then I think I'm going to put one as well in the back. There, just so that it has a bit of a solid base um, when you're looking through the clear sleeves or the pockets, I mean. And then I was thinking about putting Sana's coaster, maybe just sort of like chilling right there. I don't know, does that look really dumb though? <laughs> I don't know, this actually came with the binder. Well, the person who sold me this binder several years ago, uh, she included this cute little koala bookmark. So yeah, I don't know, I'll just leave these in here for now. But I'm very happy with how this turned out and now I don't feel quite as much pressure to, you know, go back in time to try to collect a lot of their older cards and I can just sort of like look forward now to comebacks and just collecting album cards for comebacks. And yes, like I said, in a future video where I do a big binder sorting, I will go ahead and put in Formula of Love then. But I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.